Google Chrome for Android now has the ability to take a screenshot within the app. What's up guys, I'm Tyler here from Unbox Techie. If you like today's video, be sure and drop a like so it helps boost this video in the YouTube algorithm. And yes, I am sunburned, but don't worry about that. Today we're talking about the Google Chrome screenshot feature. Over here in this article on 9to5Google, they talk about how this screenshot feature is going to be easier for users of the Android cell phone to be able to share these screenshots. Now from here, you can actually access this right over here. If you look down here, let me zoom in here so you can actually see it. This is in the share menu when you're going to go ahead and make and share something. You can go ahead and just click on this new screenshot button. And from there, it'll go ahead and pull up a screenshot just like this. And you'll have some options down here at the bottom. And those options right there are crop. You can add text. You can also draw right on there. And then this is just a demonstration right here of showing what the crop feature looks like. Again, this article is from 9 to 5 Google if you want to read more about that but basically it's going to make it a little bit faster to go ahead and share your screenshots screenshots are pretty much things that people do all day every day and it's you know a feature that really needs to be implemented into phones but i've never really seen it implemented into an app like this before so tell me guys tell me what you guys think down below in the comments is this a feature that you would use within the actual chrome app I personally think it's kind of redundant. I'm sure your Android phone takes a screenshot on its own. And unless it's like very difficult to take a screenshot, I feel like this is kind of just like a redundant feature. And I'm not really sure why you would want to do this. I know at least for my iPhone, I would just simply like click the buttons and hit share. Like it's not that hard, it's very simple. And with iPhone, it gives you the option to go ahead and tap down below and make all your edits right there. Maybe, you know, maybe on Android, it's it makes it a little bit difficult. I've had a lot of Androids in the past, and I know it's it can be difficult in different models. Sometimes the screenshot features or the screenshot function is different based on what model of phone you have. So this is kind of universal. I understand that part, but I think it's a little bit redundant. Tell me what you guys think, and take care. Have a great day.